82,000 people from the EU came to this country without a job on their own last year to look for work because they thought they would have a better life. Now, I'm asking you, do you think that is too many? Would you like to see fewer <coughs> such people? What would you do? Look, it's going to be part of the negotiations about yes. access to Europe. If we are going to have access to a single market, then there's going to be an issue around that. So what I've been talking about all along is the question of ending the grotesque levels of exploitation and the undercutting that goes on. Let's look at the issue of the flow of people in the context of access to a free market. But let's well, not blame migrants for the problems that we have. Let's look instead at an economic system that has created these levels of inequality and injustice within our society. So you seem to be saying both that you're in favour of some, you accept there'll be some kind of control, but also that you're against. Let me remind you what you actually said about this, because it's, uh, there's an awful lot of words involved. You said, um, well, I haven't got it here now. Labour is not wedded to free movement for EU citizens as a point of principle, not wedded to free movement, but I don't want to be misinterpreted, nor do we rule it out. That's a lot of words to put on, on a poster. Well, it won't be on a poster because it's far too long. What we're going to be doing is negotiating a trade arrangement with Europe to make sure that we are able to access those markets. It will involve people from Europe working here just as much as there are two million British people living and working in the European Union. Are we going to cut ourselves off from Europe completely? I don't think so. Yeah.